Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, Introductory to Economics. There are several, several programs out there that will take you through Canvas and show you all the features. This narration is just to help you actually figure out how to um, navigate my class specifically, Introductory to Microeconomics. So go ahead and log into the course. And this is our classroom. So welcome to class. Uh, you can see here that we have, this is week one, and this is all your introductory materials. And here we have week two, which is the start of content modules. So whenever you need to actually get into the classroom and start working on things, uh, the first page you'll get into will put this right in front of you. These are called modules. Another place to access modules is by clicking modules. And that will take you to all the content that you need to learn. Now what you can do is click into any of these, and I always recommend starting at the beginning. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It'll take you in, read everything, watch the videos, participate in discussions or quizzes or any assignments. Um, and as you complete it, or if you need to go to the next page, you can click next instead of going back to modules. And through this, you can then work through all the content. So as you read through it, you get to the bottom. If you need to go back to check something out, you can click Previous over here, or you can click Next here. Again, continue to scroll through all the material. Now, one thing that you should know is that all these blue links will actually take you to an outside quiz. So this, for example, will take you to Merced College Readiness Quiz. This is an external link. Click on that. Just click on this one right here. And my computer's frozen. Anyways, you click on that and it will take you to an outside link. Here it goes. So here's the Merced College quiz, and you can take that um, to see if you're ready for this class. Let's go back to Canvas, back to our classroom. And again, continue reading through the resources and moving to the next item. I'll just link into another one. Okay, here we go. So click next and we continue forward. Now this is something new. Uh, this is a quiz. So you can see it's a little bit different. The heading shows you how many points it is, how many questions are, when it's due. And then from there, after you've read through all the instructions, you can take the quiz by clicking this button and that will take the quiz. So that's how you're gonna be navigating through these classes. Uh, you just keep going until you finish it. You might want to look at the beginning. Um, with the content modules, I actually give you a little bit of math setup. So if we go into week two, we look at the introductory topic. You can see here. But I actually tell you how long you should be expecting to uh, spend on each of these topics. So if that's the case, make sure you give yourself not necessarily a two hour block, but understand that you're going to have to spend two hours before you finish this concept, an hour to finish the quiz, two hours to finish the case study, gain some trades should take about a half hour. Uh, so just make sure you plan accordingly. This is a three unit class, so expect to spend uh, anywhere between eight to 15 hours a week studying and completing assignments. So other important places for you to go, uh, grades is another place that you'll probably be checking quite frequently. This will tell you what your score is here. So if you complete an assignment, your score will pop up and that will help you understand, did I actually submit it? You'll see um, different symbols will tell you if you submitted it and how you submitted it. Uh, and then you'll get a grade once I've actually graded it. And then you'll have your out of so you can tell how well you did. 
Uh, once I start grading things, you'll see over here, there will actually be like a little bubble that will say, um, it'll look like someone's talking, but you click on that and it'll have my comments there. You can also respond to me there. And down here you have how you're actually doing, so your current total points and how well you're doing percentage-wise. One other important place for you to go is the inbox. If you ever need to contact me, this is a great place to go. You can also contact your peers in this class. Simply click this leaf, and there you go, click the course, and type in my name. And you can actually send me a letter. So that's how you would do that. And again, how to get back, you click your courses, your dashboard, any of these will actually take you home, but let's go ahead and click courses. Simply click into set the sandbox. And there you are back home. So that concludes our um, introductory to how to navigate this class. Uh, I hope you'll let me know if you have any questions. The main thing to remember is don't feel scared to click around. You'll actually need to go in here, um, check out things. You can change your profile picture here. Uh, there are a lot of resources inside this this learning management system. So check it out, look around. Um, as you run into problems, go ahead and ask me questions. And this right here, probably where you got this video from or my initial letter that I sent to you. Um, but you click in there and that has a lot of resources if you ever get stuck uh, with technical things. All right, well, thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to working with all of you in our class.